All right, here's the beast. This is a 2008 International CE 300. It's got a DT466E, the pre-max force. It's got an Allison transmission and about 210,000 miles on it. It's in pretty good shape. Picked it up for six grand, give or take. Drove it 90 miles up a mountain highway to get here so it runs well. I've obviously started working on it already. This is really just the introduction here. Inside was in great shape. Obviously, I've pulled the seats. I'll talk about that in detail later. But the seats were all recently recovered. The whole interior is in great shape. This particular year has got 76 inch ceilings. Like I said, the interior is in pretty good shape. We got the channels there. So what do you expect from being here? Uh, I want to talk about more, which I don't want you to expect. I'm not going to talk about my life, my problems, or any of the stupid self-absorbed madness that most of these schoolie channels have. I'm also going to do my best to uh, make some modifications to this in a way that doesn't turn it into a giant, you know, rolling road caution. I watch too many channels where people who have absolutely no idea what they're doing just start ripping stuff out of these things. And compromising safety systems and doing all kinds of other madness because they watch some other dope on YouTube do it. It's not what we're going to do here. We do have plenty of rust. I want to try to keep this just to the facts and be relatively useful for everybody as I work my way out of this thing. I've already done some painting on it, obviously. I threw a backup camera on there so I can see where I'm going. Windows are all in good shape started priming or uh, rather wire wheeling and priming some of the, the nasty spots done a little bit of work up front here got my backup camera there I've added in swap the radio we'll talk about that I also added in a uh, accessory power off the uh, accessory solenoid so I can power on all the stuff on the dash at once Put a USB socket, and, or rather a 12 volt socket and a USB in there. Added my CB in, switches for the CB and the reverse camera. Working my way through this panel to understand everything that's going on in here. I'll talk about that more later. As you can tell, I'm going to try to do all these videos here one shot, as I really have no desire to spend half my freaking life in photo or uh, video editing. All right, I took the stop sign off. Been working my way through the fuse panel, which is pretty well documented. So it's not terribly difficult to figure out what's going on, but I pulled a couple of the harnesses. I'll go through this again in more detail, the emergency exit stuff, some of the relays. I'll talk about three batteries. It's on a trickle charger, yours should be two. That is pretty much what we got. I'll start uh, again with some more detailed videos about some of the work that I've done. Some of the things I've already done on this have been obviously pulling the seats, some of the electrical work, some of the rust remediation underneath, a little bit of painting and priming and prepping this to get, uh, to get fully painted. So y'all enjoy this, you know, do the things. Uh, if you don't, Go move along. Until next time.